breaking from overnight in Orange County. A man rushed to the hospital after deputies say he was shot at an apartment complex. It happened at Chowder Bay Complex on South Rio Grande Avenue. That's where we find News 6 reporter Johnny Fernandez this morning. Johnny, we know this complex has had some more problems recently. There was another deadly shooting just a few weeks ago. Yeah, that's right, Bridget. Deputies are actually here at the apartment complex after a 26 year old was shot and killed here. Now, about 10 to 15 minutes ago, a, a woman who identified herself as the victim's mom from this morning's shooting came up and gave us an update. She tells us that her son underwent surgery after his hips were broken because of the shooting that happened here at the apartment complex earlier today. Now, deputies, they were called out here to the Chowder Bay Apartments late last night. That's when they say they found a 24-year-old shot in the parking lot. We saw several shell casings on the ground indicating that several shots had been fired. The victim was rushed over to the hospital, and deputies say their investigation into what happened is ongoing. Uh, the woman who, I, who claims to be the victim's mom, she did not want to show her face, but she says she wants justice for her son. Whoever did this... Will you guys please come forward? My son did not deserve this. Nobody kids deserves this. And this shooting is just the la latest case of violence here at the complex. We were here earlier this month when a 26-year-old was shot and killed in nearly the exact same spot. At the time, deputies told us that they did detain a man in connection to the shooting, but they never said if the man ended up facing any charges. Now we're coming back out live now. I'm going to be reaching back out to Orange County deputies to get an update and to try to get a little bit of more information on what's going on with the investigation. Of course, once I get any new updates, I'll pass that information. Information along to you guys on air and of course online on clickorlando.com powered by News 6. Justin Bridget.